Hello everyone and welcome to Medford Anywhere Learning TV. We're glad you're tuned in. We want to give a shout out to our friends at Southern Oregon PBS, KTGL, KDRV, and the Dove Network. Thank you for hosting us on your station. In the Medford School District, we have one shared vision and that we believe that all are learning and learning is for all. What better place to do that than right here on Medford Anywhere Learning TV. Welcome to Medford Anywhere Learning TV. We are delighted to return today for a show about singing. We are going to showcase the talents of three of our singers from Medford Area High Schools. All three of these great singers qualified at their league festival by winning their vocal category, and they will represent Southern Oregon in a state solo championship festival next week. We hope that their performances and interviews today will encourage you to continue singing in a choir and maybe even pursue solo singing. I'd like to introduce our cast of singers and the cast of the show. First singer will be Alexa Ehrlich, followed by Isaiah Wright, and then Cameron Sides. And our clinician, master clinician of the day, is Miss Kim Robison. She is the vocal instructor at McLaughlin Middle School. And on the piano will be myself, Andrea Brock. I teach at South Medford High School. And my dear colleague, Pam Nordquist, she also teaches at South Medford High School. Thanks for tuning in.
Hi, my name is Kim Robison and I am the choir teacher at McLaughlin Middle School and I am here today to work as a clinician with these amazing singers. Alexa, wow, 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 what an amazing, beautiful gift that you have. I can tell that you have worked long and hard as a singer, that this didn't just magically happen one morning, but has taken a lot of work and preparation on your part. Am I right on that? Yes. <laughs> Um, beautiful singing, so beautiful. When a singer is somebody who can sing high and fast, that's called coloratura. And Alexa did a lot of that and did it amazingly well. And so um, that's something that, that singers can learn to do. And it's, it's a, an amazing gift that she also has. Where I, so my job today is to talk about things that Alexa has done well and to also um, go into some things that, that we could work to improve. So we're going to start in the middle of the song. Um, Andrea, this will be page 256, measure 79. And we're going to talk about, Alexa, um, as you sing, it's an octave leap. An octave is a big jump in, in singing, and it's hard to sing both notes in an octave leap, a high note and a low note, but both notes are equally important, and one is long and one is short. So will you give just a little more weight to that lower note, it's short and it's low, and give it just a little more sound to it, and let's see how that sounds when you do that. Yeah, beautiful. When you give it just a little more weight in that bottom note, it brings it out and, and makes it sound um, equal between your upper range and your lower range. Beautiful, beautiful singing. Another part I want to talk about is the top of page 258. Now, as singers, we are looking for something called a legato line. Legato means smooth and connected, and a smooth connected line is a legato line. And that's a really important thing for singers in order to um, communicate what it is they're saying. So let's look at the top of um, 258 on the poco meno allegro, that part. Will you sing all the way through each note? Have them, um, I like to say, smush into each other. That's a very technical term. <laughs> smush them into each other and sing all the way through that line and really connect that, that nice connected legato line. Will you start there? Good. When you go do the A, A, uh, respire, will you sing as you come down off that high note? Give that 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 next note lots of lots of connection into the out of the high note and back up. Okay, lots of connection um, there. A respire, uh, 144. Pick up to 144. Yeah, don't back up. Don't back off of it. Yeah, sing all the way through that line. Yeah, all the way through. That's that, beautiful. That Can you feel sure. the difference? Yeah, yeah. So how does that feel different for you? It just feels like I'm moving my airstream more, like, you know, keeping it more connected. Mm -hmm. And it, it just sounds more powerful, I guess, too. Like you have more air and support. Mm -hmm. it, well, did it feel easier to sing that yes, way? Yes, it did. Yeah. And yeah. that's singers, while singing is a ton of hard work, when done really well, it sounds really easy. And you could hear the difference in that. If you didn't notice it, back it up and listen again, and you'll hear a big difference in that sound as she sings all the way through each note and makes each note really important. It's just like each of us are really important. Every single note, short, big, high, low, all are important and need that appropriate stress in order to make sense in the song. Beautiful singing, really, really so nice. Thank you. Can I ask you a few questions of while course. I have you here? Yeah. Okay, so tell me what are your plans for the future? Well, I'm going to college at uh, Southern Oregon University, and I received a scholarship there. So I went and auditioned kind of like this setting here, sang a song, got some critique, and 
a, a couple other kids came too and they decided who would receive the scholarship and I was awarded it. That is amazing. So singing is helping to pay for your college? Yes, it's, it's very, it's a good way to earn some money. <laughs> yeah, it really is. That's amazing. I'm so glad to hear that. When did you start singing? I've been singing for about seven or eight years. I mean, even since I was a little kid, but uh, I've taken private voice lessons for many years and it's paid off. At first I was like, oh, I don't really want to do this and it's so much work, but it pays off. So keep singing. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for being here today. And you sound beautiful. Good luck next week. Thank you. Hello, I'm Isaiah Wright. Uh, I'm from South Medford High School and I sing in chamber choir and e-choir at South. Uh, the piece I'll be singing today is Money O by Michael Head. And about the song is about a poem about uh, him like trying to get money, I guess, in a way. And it's about a loved one, I think. So... child that holds a trumpet that it must not blow because a man is dead. I did not speak to let this false world know. Much have I thought of life and see how poor men's hearts I ever lied. And how the wives do hum like bees about their work from more till night. So when I hear these poor ones laugh And see the rich friends coldly frown Poor men think I need not go up So much as rich men should come down When I had money, money oh I knew no joy till I went poor For many a false man as a friend Came knocking all day at my door All day at my door Hi! I'm back. And as you can see, we are socially distanced because it's important to us at the Medford School District to always be safe and follow the rules. Isaiah, that was some really amazing singing. You have such a big, huge, low voice. I'm sure our viewers were like, whoa, especially at the end when you hit that nice, big, long, low voice, really full. That was just awesome. I loved it. Thank you. Really, really beautiful singing. Um, Isaiah is a bass. Bass is the lowest male singer that we have. And you can hear that even in just the, when he speaks, how low his voice is when he speaks. It's a really cool thing uh, to be a bass. So we're so glad to have you here today. Let's go to the end of the song. If we can start at the end, um, I wanna talk about your vowel sounds. So as singers, we need to, um, we, we move our mouths differently when we sing than we do when we speak. When we speak, our vowels tend to be a little bit wide and kind of smiley. And as singers, they need to be really tall and really warm sounding. And that really helps us to, um, to create a warm, it's called a resonant sound. That's like where there's a lot of ring and, and where the sound sounds really alive. So let's go to the end of the song and let's start for many a false man as a friend. Can we start there? Yeah. I want you to think about keeping that space really tall inside your mouth, not, not only tall outside, but the tall on the inside of your mouth, okay? For many a false man as a friend came knocking all day at my door. Yeah. All day at my door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much improved when you do um, all 
stay at my, we put more ah in that vowel there. Um, and then door, nice and tall and open. Do that one more time, for many a false. For many a false man as a friend came knocking all day at my door. All day at my door. Yeah, could you feel a difference in yeah. that? How did it feel different to you? I had more control over my breath and airflow went through and I had more space to like breathe and actually get the vowels out. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. Um, as a singer, running out of breath is a scary, scary thing, right? That's something that we're managing all the time is our breath. Um, beautiful. Will you start at the beginning now and give us those same beautiful warm vowels as you sing that, that beginning. When I had money, money. Okay, here we go. When I had money, money, oh. Good. I'm going to add one more thing to it. Will you put a little puff of air before the W? When, when I, and what that does, that sounds, that's a weird singer thing that we do sometimes, um, but that puff of air will warm up the voice and get the voice started so that when the vowel sound starts, it's really big and amazing already. Okay, go ahead. When. When I had money, money, oh, I knew no joy till I went poor. Good. Now, when you do I knew, will you give me a tall ah in the I sound every time? Yep. Go again. From the beginning. When. When I. And then I give me. Mm. Here we go. Ready? When I had money. I knew no joy till I went poor. For many a false man as a friend came knocking all day at my door. Yes, Isaiah, that is amazing. It's amazing the difference that it made in the sound that we have. Much fuller, warmer, richer sound. Beautiful singing. Thank you. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Yes. Okay. Um, what is What made you decide to start singing? Um, but like the reason why I want to sing is because I want to show off my talents and share my talents with other people and get closer to people and like in a choir because like to me choir to me is like a family and like a huge community once you have like choir friends and then you're set you have a huge family no matter what. I could not agree more. It is. It, and it gives you connection when sometimes not all of us have connection in our families or in our homes. And when you can be part of something that is bigger than yourself, like a choir, there is a lot of power in that. I'm glad that you have realized that already so young. That's amazing. What are you doing next year? What are your plans? Uh, I'm going to RCC, Rowe Community College, here for two years. And I'm going to be I'm going to audition for the chamber choir keep singing with choir because once you stop singing, it's hard to go back to singing. So I'm going to do the chamber choir for two years and then I'm going to transfer to Portland State University for four years and study music and probably sing in their chamber choir as well. That is amazing. Thank you so much for being here today. You are just amazing. Good luck next week. Thank you. Hello, my name is Cameron Sides and I go to South Medford High School and I'm a sophomore and I'm going to be singing Florian's Song by Benjamin Goddard. a shepherd in your parish, a shepherd charming, good, and kind, to whom at once your hearts incline, whom longer none still more you cherish. Some needy brother who begs all the 
shepherd gives with kindly words the little lamb on in its Cameron, what beautiful singing you are doing. Now, you're a sophomore, is that right? Uh, yes, I'm a sophomore. All right. Audience, this is an amazing voice. For as young as this girl is, you have a long and beautiful singing career ahead of you. Such warm, full sound already. It's, I mean, <laughs> that is amazing. I really, really enjoyed your singing today. Thank you. Okay, I want to start um, at... Let's start at and do his pipes, melodious strains. And one of the things that's important as a singer is we want to um, create a sense of movement as we sing. And one of the ways that we can do that is by emphasizing certain, like giving extra emphasis to certain notes and backing off a little bit off of other notes. And that kind of helps to give us that dancing feeling. So will you do and do his pipes, melodious strains, the hearts of maiden set a beating. Will you do that part? Yeah. And give a little extra emphasis to that downbeat. Downbeat is the first beat of every measure. And do his pipes melodious strains, the hearts of maidens set a beat. The top of that is so beautiful. Now, as you sing through, you're doing a great job crescendoing, which means to get louder. Will you start that crescendo a slightly earlier? And do his pipes melodious strings, the hearts of maidens are tormenting. Yeah. Oh, and you already did the thing. The next thing I was going to talk about was singing all the way through that last long note on beating. Oh, then yes. does, and so sing, and, and sometimes what will happen with singers is when they're going to take a breath, a singer will be like, I'm going to take a breath. And they kind of go, you know, the sound kind of dies away before the breath. You've had that happen before, yes, right? I know I course. have. Um, so sing all the way through because that crescendo keeps going. Even if you take a breath, that the feeling of the crescendo continues. Will you do that one more time yeah. and sing all the way through that beating breath? Oh, okay. Yes. All right, here we go. And do. Okay. And do his pipes, melodious strains, the hearts of maidens set a Did it feel different to you? Yes, it did. So what what about it felt different to you or how did it how did it feel different? It just felt like um, it was leading up to be more powerful instead of just like kind of then being more powerful. It was like it actually felt like it had more meaning to it. So, yeah, yeah, it uh, it changes the meaning of the line for sure. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I felt like it did as a listener is um, instead of suddenly having to sing loud because you grew into it, it was much more powerful. Mm -hmm. The sound was much more powerful and more grounded and kind of to it. Really, yes. really, really beautiful. Um, good. Let's go from the beginning one. All right. If there's a shepherd in your parish. Yeah, when you sing parish, will you smush those? Remember we talked about mm -hmm. smushing earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will you smush those mm -hmm. together? If there's a shepherd in your parish, a shepherd charming, good and kind. Good, and we, so we're gonna, um, I like, these are a whole bunch of eighth notes all in a row, um, which can get a little same, 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 mm -hmm. same, same. Will you give me a little more of that text stress? Mm -hmm. And yes. I'm gonna let you choose where to do it because you're a very intuitive musician. You yes. know where the, that heavy and light light should feel. Will you start from the beginning again? Mm -hmm. Yes. And, oh, I'm gonna add one more thing to it. With singers, a lot of times, not a lot of times, 100% of the time you have to think about 22 things at once. We call it the 10 track. 
So we're adding this to your 10 track of things that you're thinking about. Um, will you really, even though it's light, um, will you connect the sound a little bit more? Uh, a shepherd charming, good and kind. So that it has a little more connection in between the notes. Go from the beginning. All right, okay. If there's a shepherd in your parish, a shepherd charming, good and kind. So beautiful, so beautiful. Could you feel the difference? <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, I felt like you, I, I'm gonna ask you, I'll ask you first, how did you feel about it? Then I'll tell you how I felt about I know, it. I just felt like it had more, um, more feelings into it and it felt more passionate I guess yes yeah. that's what Definitely. I felt from you too is I felt like you were really communicating what was happening mm -hmm. in the song yes Cameron beautiful singing Thank and you. Cameron was the winner of the alto division which is I mean amazing I'm so proud that you are representing Medford good luck next week thank you so can much. I ask you a few questions of course all right what is your favorite thing about singing my favorite thing about singing is it makes me forget about basically everything that's happening in my life because I have a lot of troubles at home and just a lot of things that have just been going on with my life and singing just helps me release all that stress and just makes me feel so good and makes me feel like I'm hurt in the world so yeah Cameron that is beautiful and thank you for sharing that that's a that's a really personal thing to share and I love what you said about how it helps you work through the things that are going on singing can be a great way music in general is a great way a safe way to work through some of those feelings that can feel a little overwhelming or scary. You definitely feel really included when you're doing it in a choir or even alone. Like it just feels so amazing to do. Yeah, thank you. I, mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. That's why I love choirs, why I love that <laughs> sense of connection. And I think you do an amazing job of, of connecting with your audience. As your audience member today, I could feel um, I could feel that connection from you, and that comes from a place of being willing to put yourself into the music, which is hard to do and is a really brave thing to do, so I commend you with that. Thank, thank you for being here today. Beautiful singing. Yes, of course. Thank you, too. We are so glad that you could join us today for this special edition of Medford Anywhere Learning to hear the beautiful voices of some of our students here in Medford. Now, these three people who you heard today, plus about four or five more are will be uh, adding their voices to the state championship this next week. We wish them the very best as they videotape themselves performing and submit it to our state. Now, for the, for the rest of you, we are so delighted that you could join us, and we hope that maybe you picked up a tip or two. The most important thing is to keep singing, to sing your heart out. It, as you heard, it comes from the heart. It's something that you can do to develop your own skills. It helps you find a group of friends that you can stay with through your middle school and high school and maybe your college years as well. We really miss our students right now, as all teachers do. So we want to say hello to all of them out there. And uh, if you have a student in your home who loves to sing and who really enjoys just making music with friends and doing that, please encourage them to be part of their music program in our school district. We have fantastic bands, orchestras, and especially choirs. So it, we'd love for all kids to sing in our choir program uh, at, at either one of the high schools or the middle schools. And in elementary school, they can be singing in the Rogue Valley Youth Choruses. They can sing with Oregon um, at the Oregon Conservatory of Performing Arts. There are just so many opportunities for students in our valley, and we're very fortunate to have that. So please encourage your students, your kids at home, to keep singing and to sign up for choir, band, or orchestra in their uh, schools for the next year. Thank you so much for tuning in with us today. Thanks for tuning in to Medford Anywhere Learning TV. Medford School District is a place where all are learning and learning is for all.